this talk about pancreatic pseudocyst. So what is a pancreatic pseudocyst? A pseudocyst is a collection of the amylase rich fluid enclosed in a wall of the fibrinous or granulation tissue. Pathophysiology The pseudocyst typically arises following an attack of the acute pancreatitis, lies outside the pancreas and represents an acute pan pancreatic fluid collection that has not resolved and matured. Formation of the pseudocyst requires four weeks or more from the onset of the acute pancreatitis. It also includes sterile wild of necrosis that has failed to resolve or a collection that has developed in the context of the chronic pancreatitis or after pancreatic trauma. Now, sites includes lesser sac which is the commonest site between colon and stomach. It also may be present in relation to the duodenum, jejunum, colon, splenic, hilum. Types includes either depending on the communication with pancreatic duct, it includes communicating pseudocyst and non-communicating pseudocyst. Depending on the onset of the duration, it may be acute pseudocyst and chronic pseudocyst. Signs and symptoms. Perfever mass in the epigastrium, which is hemispherical, smooth and soft, not moving with respiration and mobile. Upper margin is diffuse but lower margin well defined. Resonant or the impaired resonant or percussion may be seen. Mild fever, weight loss, mild jaundice may be present. Investigation includes ultrasound for, of whole abdomen to see the size and thickness of the pseudocyst. CT scan is the ideal and study of the choice. MRCP can be done, ERCP can be done, bare meal and elevated serum amylase and leukocytosis can be seen in half of the patients. LFT can be done. And endoscopic ultrasound guided aspiration and analysis of the fluid for amylase and carcinoembryonic antigen can be done. If there is no access to EUS, then percutaneous FNA is acceptable. Now, management. Conservative includes observation, follow-up using repeated USC, chances of the spontaneous resolution are 50% and intervention includes ERCP which is uh, guided uh, endoscopic EUS, USG guided drainage, transpapillary, transmural endoscopic or EUS guided stent, percutaneous drainage under USG guided and surgical drainage either open or laparoscopic method. Complications of the pancreatic pseudocyst. It includes infection. Uh, leading to abscess or systemic sepsis, rupture into the gut leading to gastrointestinal bleeding, internal fistulas, or into the peritoneum leading to peritonitis, or uh, enlargement may lead to pressure effects leading to obstructive jaundice from biliary compression, bowel obstruction, and pain. Erosion into the vessel may lead to hemorrhage into the cyst and hemiperitoneum, and end of the topic. Holy day. Walk up to the air.